This here is a love story of epic proportions. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Finally. So after going to bed at midnight last night, just after midnight, finally ready to head to the ferry. Very, very excited. So, we had the biggest night packing and organising. We stayed up until past midnight. We printed our vows and all that sort of stuff and then our printer broke. So, that was good timing. 5am wake up call this morning so we're both very tired and puffy eyed and stuff but that's okay because we're on holidays now so... <laughs> yeah. My goodness. Wedding dress in the back there. She's ready to be worn. Excited? Very excited. Free take. We'll just have pretty much we'll just have to have tablets in the zone. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, yeah. how are you saying? Hello. Hello. How are you? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> It's all happening. Ready. Ooh, there's the pool. Oh, fancy. There's all our bags and our esky. First impressions, let's see. Whoa. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, that's like an actual whole apartment. Oh, I thought that glass fell over. But it's, um... What is this? What is this? Chocolates. Got a little sparkling. <laughs> what a view. Two singles, that's when we start fighting. <laughs> Definitely utilising that. Oh, an iron board and an iron. Yeah, we don't yeah, care about no, Just testing out the hiding spot. Yep. The ash behind this bush. So Buggy comes down here and up here behind this bush. And then Mum and I, arm in arm. Right here. Thank you. Thank you can you. have the water bottle. Exchange of water bottles. <laughs> I do. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, do you want to do that again? <laughs> On our way to ATV tour. Woo! Nice hairdo. Show it off. Damn. Little baby ones. Ah! So much fun. So much fun, but when they need to be faster. Yeah, way faster. Hey, too slow. Yeah. My lady. Thank you so much. Going to dinner. We're going to check it out before we actually have our reception there. Yeah. So we us. Music playing. Favorite spot by far. Pastries, so good. Thank you. 
to the cave. Holy moly. Whoa! <laughs> That's a bit bigger than I thought. This the top layer. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. How'd she do the gold thing? Oh my goodness. Exciting. Get a fish. Yeah. Dinner. Especially because everyone's like travelled here just to see like this, like yeah. this event. Well, us. Us. And then this is a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of just a real part. We are about to do a rehearsal for the day. Everyone is late. Thankfully, we're in charge of everyone getting here tomorrow, so no one should be late. Run through uh, rehearsal and make sure everything kind of flows, and hopefully the rain stays away for this one. So the song will start. I'll, I'll move into position so that he knows where to go. We'll get down the middle of the aisle and we'll be like, oh wait, wrong side. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, you guys follow. Hey buddy, good job. We've got a little bit of work to do. Uh, it is a little bit hard without the celebrant being here because the order that I know is, I'm hoping the right order. Um, but everything will all be fine. It'll all be good. We'll work out tomorrow. So. But, but that might be right, because they do they do one by themselves? So you're actually right, I think, then, because they'll do... Because I thought it was you and I joining in from this one. Which one were we at? The first body roll, it's just that. Yeah. And then the second one is die. <laughs> Confident this is going to land? I reckon we'll get it. We'll, like, we'll practice it a bit. But, um, at the moment, things are looking a bit easy. <laughs> So we join in this part, and then, yeah. and then you two join. I feel like, you, you know, you just, you aim for the bare minimum, and it, sure it, it makes a good video that's immortalised. <laughs> Are we going to get a wedding lighting breakdown? Yeah. Sponsored by Nan Light. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Trying to have a dinner and then these guys come ruin it. Intruders. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Hello. <laughs> mother of the bride, mother of the groom. Turn around, show me the back of the field row. Oh, look at that! How exciting! Are you guys nervous? Excited? Oh, so nervous! <laughs> oh my god, yes! Oh, I'm excited! Don't be excited, nervous! <laughs> my baby's getting married. I know. The last one as well for you. I walked in the door crying. <laughs> And the last one for you, Paula. Yes. Well. First, oh. one for First one for mum. Yeah. Very exciting. <laughs> Waiting so long. Gonna, we <laughs> <have>. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to make most every minute. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. I haven't got a necklace. Oh, so cute. Beauty, especially waiting for his best man for Come a Come on. <laughs> Come on, mate. What are you doing? <laughs> Stitch up, stitch up. Hi, Hi. Uh, Ella McKay and Sarah. Hello. Hi. It's your wedding day. It's my wedding day. Yay. How exciting. Platter going. What are you most excited for today? You in the dress. <laughs> 100%. I haven't seen it in two years. So you walk down the aisle. Like, yeah. So you drop down the aisle. You guys see the dad hand you over to Andy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that'll be really cute. It's been a very long time coming. Yes. Very, yes. very long time coming. So we're yeah. very excited for you. Thank you. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> yeah. 
That's that's a big one. Oh, that was the bougie. Best. That was the first step. This is bougie. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> and then there is the pocket square as well. Oh, nice. This is a little bit too big. This is like the clown. That's one. that's that's massive. How shiny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so update. Uh, ceremony location has been changed. We are getting that all sorted, and then hopefully. This is the last thing we have to do, and then we can relax and uh, start getting ready. I can't wait to see Ash, can't wait to see the girls. Look, absolutely amazing. Hello! Hello. Maid of honor. Grab <laughs> 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 Hello! Look at you! <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to kind of like getting down the end of the aisle and seeing Andrew. Mm -hmm. I really, I've been wanting, holding off showing him this dress because it's been sitting in my wardrobe. <laughs> For so long, I show him everything, all my purchases. So with this, I was just like, I just want to show you. Do you want to see it? And he's like, no. <laughs> Mate, someone wants to blow on my chest. Ryan, blow on my chest. There's a big storm coming in. <laughs> yeah. I thought this would be easy to write. I wrote, Dear Andrew, and it, it stayed like that for about two hours. <laughs> Before I came in and like then wrote another line and then I was like, oh my god, how do you put everything into words? Like the way that you feel about this person, the way that you want to like wrap up your, like sum up your relationship so far and the journey we've been on. Like that's 11 and a half years that I need to sum up in like this letter. Nervous just like read his and then be like, oh my god, isn't so much better than mine. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Andrew's and Ashley's wedding. This is uh, reading the letter, shot one, take one. Well, this is like car. Oh, yeah. She, oh, Ash brought an actual piece of car. Yeah, she she was a bit more prepared than yours. She was freaking out because she was like, I can't get this wedding. I was like, it's a bit of paper. She's like, I only have one bit of paper. One of the card. Dear Andrew, you are the person I turn to for everything. My biggest cheerleader in life and the person who understands me the most. I don't know what I'll do without you. Dear Ash, I can't believe this day is finally here. I'm so thankful for that super awkward drunken introduction from Shannon and that we bumped into each other again at Dome. I couldn't even imagine what my life would have been like without you being a part of it. You mean the absolute world to me and I can't wait to see you standing there at the end of the aisle. We've been through some tough challenges, but they've contributed to the relationship and strong foundation that we have today. Firstly, I want to thank you for sticking by my side through thick and thin. I know it hasn't been the easiest of times, especially during university but your ongoing love and support was what got us through the, those tough times. There's a lot I have to be grateful for with you. You're the person I can be myself with. You lift me up when I'm down and bring so much joy and laughter to my life. I've loved all the adventures we've been on and how you're always open to trying new things. Your infectious, bubbly personality can bring me out of any, any mood and your kind, caring nature has shown me the definition of a best friend. I love doing life with you. We have so much fun together and I can't wait to see what this journey brings and to love and laugh even more along the way with you. I know I can be a handful sometimes, but I know that with you as my seeker in the game of life, we'll be able to jump through hoops and dodge obstacles to finally catch the golden snitch. <laughs> Words aren't enough to tell you how much I love you and how highly I think of you. I'm always here for you and will also always be your biggest cheerleader and bring on the most amazing future together as husband and wife. I honestly couldn't think of anything better than getting to wake up every day next to my best friend for the rest of our lives. Mr. and Mrs. Murphy, I love you to the moon and back. Love you to the moon and back. Your bestie for life, Andrew. P.S. Can't wait for you to see my tie. <laughs> the constant Harry Potter references just proves you know me too well. <laughs> He's got a surprise bow tie. Oh. Yeah, he said it's like that's the one thing he hasn't shown me is he's got a bow tie that his mum made. So I can't wait to like see what that little surprise is from him as well. Oh, part of the uh, the ceremony. Only people that know about this is the people in this room and mum and dad. So oh, that's cool. Everyone will see it at the ceremony. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm so beautiful and I'm so happy that this is happening. Me too. Just enjoy every moment. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you look beautiful. Oh my god. 
Not supposed to cry. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Can I cry? No, I'm not I'm crying, not to. Thank you. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. All right, boys. Looking sharp as Wolfie. <laughs> you come with me? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Do you like my tie? I oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's so, <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Ashley and Pratt. Oh god. Okay, I'm already gone. <laughs> I wanted to say this name one last time before you take on the far superior last name of Murphy. <laughs> uh, no offence, Ross. <laughs> In the past 11, almost 12 years, we've experienced a lot together. We've adventured around the world, moved between houses and cities, and supported each other through all the ups and downs of life. But throughout all of this, we've always picked each other up and grown stronger as a team because of it. I honestly couldn't think of anyone else I'd rather have by my side. <laughs> To quote someone a little bit wiser than myself, differences of habit and language are nothing at all if our aims are identical and our hearts are open. Albus Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know me too well. As your husband, I promise to always be here for you when you need someone to listen or a shoulder to cry on. I promise to be your Ronald Weasley and accompany you to all things Harry Potter related. I, I promise to support your dreams and passions, even if that means being a test dummy for your latest kicks or punches. <laughs> and I promise to never stop being open to new ideas, spending the time to communicate effectively, and always love you even more tomorrow than I do today. I cannot wait to see where this adventure of life takes us, knowing that you'll be by my side every step of the way. Andrew, it was 11 and a half years ago that we started dating. I remember us both communicating from the start that we wanted a long-term relationship. I don't think 17-year-old Ash and 18-year-old Andy quite knew what they were getting themselves into, but today we stand here together and I wouldn't have it any other way. I love you so much. You are my best friend, the person I turn to for help and advice and who brings me so much happiness and laughter. I'm so grateful to you for these and so much more. We've experienced some challenges but have grown through these together. You've been my anchor through it all, and when I look back, I couldn't be more proud of us and how far we've come. Today, I vow to you that through whatever life throws our way, I will be there for you just as you have always been there for me. I vow to support you on your journey as your biggest cheerleader, and continue to help you with storage solutions for your ever-growing array of camera and lighting equipment, <laughs> whilst maintaining the aesthetic of the house, of course. <laughs> Lastly, I vow to bring you happiness and laughter, especially on the days that you may need it most, as you have done so for me. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you, Odie, and me as a family. So in front of these witnesses, and with the authority I'm entrusted with, I pronounce you to be husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Was the height worth it? Oh my god, so worth it. Okay. I was like, what's he gonna do? That's a good one. That's a good one. So for the very first time, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Mercy.
Ashley, who I taught in year four at OLC, would grow up to be my daughter-in-law. We encouraged him to have a go as a photographer. Uh, just give it two years and see what happens. We had no doubts that he would succeed and look at him now. As parents, all we want for our children is health, happiness, love and fulfilment in life. We wish Andrew and Ashley all these and more as they start their married life together. The mother of the bride, M-O-B. Yeah. Well, Andrew, you came into our lives about 12 years ago as this shy boy who had a passion for photography which consequently led to also a passion for my daughter, Ashley. Our relationship as a couple of kids who I truly believe have found a soulmate in each other. I thank you for filling Ash's heart with love and now her family with so much gratitude. To my beautiful daughter, everything you have put your mind to and your body to, you have achieved or at least done your best Watching you grow has stretched my heart to its fullest. You make me proud every single day. Congratulations to you both, and I love you. As Andrew's brother, I have fond memories of always riding our bikes, playing on massive piles of seaweed at the beach. We spent so much time together just being kids outside. Ash, I love how you bring out the best in Andrew, but also chase your own dreams. Thanks for looking after my not-so-little brother anymore. You'd be surprised to know that there may have been occasions growing up where three brothers could display signs of annoying behaviour. And I found a saying, Oh, brother, used to express annoyance or surprise. We all learned that fun and productive, rather than flying hobby sticks, was the way to go. However, his number one passion was front and centre today. He looks so good on his bow tie. Unfortunately, that only couldn't make it here today. Ashley, where do I begin? Even though we are twins, you've always been there for me as a big sister. Even though it's by a whole 10 minutes, and you've always been so unapologetically yourself. And we even share our love for Harry Potter together. Andrew, you did me proud today. <laughs> I got so many opportunities to roast Andy, I thought, no, I just can't keep going that. But there's a few good ones here, particularly around his drifting phase, which apparently was really short-lived because every time he attempted to drift, he kept crashing his car and had to build a new one. Andy could have asked anyone to give this speech. He could have asked the handsome groomsman, Ryan, the intelligent one, Alex, the funny one, Jeremy. But no, he thought to himself, why would I ask any of these guys with only one of these qualities when I could ask someone who has all three, this here is a love story of epic proportions. The love story of Andy and mine began a lifetime ago. Andy and Bren, the Powerpuff men. We were two young spring chickens, wide-eyed and bushy-tailed, working at the Dome Cafe in Bussabin. This was where we first set eyes on each other. It truly was a whirlwind romance, and it continued Andy, yeah, I'm giving you a speech now. How are you talking to me right now? What do you mean? Oh, you mean you and Ash. Oh, I'm so sorry. I heard romance and I just thought you were talking about you and me. No, no, I can, I can, t I can turn this around. I can turn this around. It's all good. It's good. No, I love you. <laughs> no, I love you. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Andy and Ash's love story is one of epic proportions. The love shared between these two is second to none. And with that, I would ask that you all please raise a glass to the cinematographer to rule them all, the stunt queen of his dreams, to Andy and Ash. to my husband. <laughs> you are the kindest and most caring person I know. I turn to you for all my challenges in life because you listen to me with no judgment and give me the best advice and are so solutions focused. So we've been together for 11 and a half years and over that time I've certainly seen you through a few different phases from photography to graphics and details now all in on videography and lighting. Alongside this you started your YouTube channel. This has to be one of the best things I've ever witnessed. I'm just so proud of you. Seeing you from where you started to where you are now throughout these phases of life has really been something to witness and shaped you into the person you are today. Becoming your wife today has me so excited for our future get future together. I love you. I'm actually glad she brought up something about lighting because I wasn't going to say it, but thank you to our sponsors, Nanlight, for this beautiful <laughs> RGB lighting. As much as this title just makes you think about your now mother-in-law, Today you must take on the role of Mrs. Murphy in our little family. I wanted to share a few things that you've taught me so far from our relationship curriculum. So far, Mrs. Murphy. 
You've told me that it's okay to rewatch Harry Potter for the 75th time. <laughs> Even when we have access to unlimited new movies on demand. You show me that going out to dinner and spending more than 26 minutes at a restaurant is indeed actually possible and it can be quite enjoyable as well. But most importantly, you've shown me how a positive and bubbly personality is infectious to those around you, no matter what is going on in someone's life. You've taught me how to communicate clearly, not just verbally, but emotionally as well and why communication is the number one key to a healthy and long-lasting relationship. And finally, you've taught me to listen to the signs that show up in my life, learn when it's time to step out of my comfort zone and take the next leap, then trusting that everything will all fit into place and work out for the best. You look absolutely beautiful tonight. Can't thank you for everything we've experienced together, all the adventures we've been through, raising the most extra little Japanese uh, spitz Odie who will only take his water filtered, chilled, and with a splash of apple cider vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> You've been my number one fan throughout starting my video business, running my YouTube channel and following my dreams and passions and I love you to the moon and back. I have faith in what I see, now I know I've met an angel in person. You look perfect tonight. Aww.